Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss. I've got little Rose here with me today, and I have four new Crayola colors. Woo! New colors! <laughs> this is a pack of 24. I'm going to show you some of the other packs of 24 that I've been collecting, and this will join that collection as a fun thing to have. They also had markers in the new colors as well. So what we're going to do is swatch out the new colors, and then I have challenged myself to color in the book that comes with these new tools. Now I must tell you, I I've been dreading this video because I really don't want to color on this inexpensive paper. I'm very spoiled coloring on beautiful paper all the time here at Coloring Bliss. And now I'm going to challenge myself to do it on this kind of paper. What do you think, Steve? <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. I might not color a whole coloring page. I might just color part of it to remind myself of why paper is so important. In fact, it kind of peeves me a little bit that we give the cheapest, lamest paper to our kids. I know a lot of them get in there and just scribble all over everything, but if we want them to have a good experience, something that will really ignite their passion for creativity and art, we really should set them up for success. And using this kind of paper, doesn't necessarily do that. <laughs> so let's start by talking about the new Crayola colors. Here are the new crayons and markers. And I love the packaging. It's so cute and happy. They're calling it Colors of Kindness. This is the 24 set right here. And you can see on the back, they're talking about the four new colors. So we'll talk more about that here in a minute. And then on this side, they show more of the colors that are included in this box. Really cool. And then here are the colors that they are including in the marker set. So you get the four new colors and then some to go along with it. I'm kind of curious to see it's um, whether you can actually complete a page using just these supplies or would you need to dip into some of your other sets of markers to make that happen. And then this is the book and it's a really cute little book. It's got at the very beginning a place where you can swatch right next to it all of these colors. So you can see them all. We'll probably do that. And then the way they've done this is like a two page spread, which I think is really cool. They have over here like an uplifting saying, like this says go with the flow, and then it has a piece of art that goes along with that saying, and that goes true for the whole thing. They've also perforated the pages so you can pull them out if you want to. Life is a Gouda, and then over here they're eating pasta, that kind of thing. It's really a cute little book had fun looking through it and trying to decide which one I want to color and I still don't know which one I want to color. And then um, on the back it shows you some examples and which um, crayons they recommend go along with this book. Pretty cool. They also had at my local Walmart the Colors of the World, this set right here that's been out for a little while, and they had uh, an accompanying coloring book for that one as well. But I knew I already owned this set, and so I got really excited and wanted to try their four new colors. So let me show you some of the other 24 packs that I have been collecting in case you want to get into collecting this kind of thing. It's really fun. and a relatively inexpensive um, set of art supplies that you can work towards collecting. So here I have the pearl crayons, of course the colors of the world that I showed you already. These two boxes here are more like standard colors. This is your standard pack here. And then this is when they introduced the new color Blutiful. I got that box during that promotion. I've got the metallic crayons, the neon crayons, 
the confetti, which is my um, current favorite out of all these little specialty crayons. It's really a cool pack. The Metallic FX. This one's a 16, not a 24, but it's still a cool pack. And then finally, the glitter crayons, which I was really excited about, but they don't pay off as well as I want to because it's so packed with glitter. So it's kind of like glitter mixed with wax, and it's kind of hard to color with. If you want to see more about these little individual packs and when I swatch them and um, we talked about each and their pros and cons, um, check out the video in the description. We did a video on this a while back and it was a lot of fun. But today we're here for Colors of Kindness, this one right here, and the four new colors. So the first thing I want to do is swatch the new crayons. And actually what I want to do is swatch the whole box so that I can see everything that I've been given to work in this coloring book. Um, so I went and I called Crayola. If you go to their website, there's a phone number and you can call them. And I asked them, do they have any coloring charts already? And they do, but it's not for this set right here. But I just thought I would make uh, make you aware of that these are available. This is for the 100 set of color pencils that they have. And it's all set up here. It's a two page PDF that they can email to you. And then this one here is for that giant pack of 120 crayons. And they have all the colors here, their names. This would be, I think, a really fun almost puzzle to give the kids and help them try to find where each color is on this chart and read the words and everything. I think that would be a really cool project to do with some kids. To swatch these two boxes of Crayola products, I need a swatching chart. And for this project, I think it will be perfect to work out of volume three swatch bliss. This one I have printed on our really beautiful mixed media paper and it'll work perfect for for both types of tools. And for me, I wanna find something that I can swatch 34 colors. So when we flip through here, um, Steve has put at the top how many potential swatches you can get in one image. And volume three swatch bliss is all about swatching into shapes rather than just squares. It's more of a coloring page and see you can um, put in your colors and the numbers next to it, that kind of thing. So it's a really fun little book. Um, if you love to swatch like I do and you just want more opportunities to swatch, this book would be really good. This is close, 39 swatches, 33. We need something with 34. I wonder if we'll find the perfect number or will we have to do something close? This one's got 72, look how much fun. This one I've already swatched in. 24, oh, oh, 34, right there. This is a perfect one, the gumball machine. Okay, so I think we will swatch the um, four new colors right away using the markers. So let's see what these four new colors are. Look how cute these are. There's still one more marker in there. Okay, so the four new colors are Peace of Mind, a cool mint color, Cray Yellow, it's called Hello Sunshine, a powder blue called Sky's the Limit, and an oatmeal color called A Warm Hug. So is this a warm hug? Yeah, and all it says is oatmeal on here. It doesn't have, oh, and it's got the other name right here, A Warm Hug. Very good. And then it says, Washable Colors of Kindness on here. Cool. So that's one of the new colors. We need a light blue called Sky's the Limit. This is another new color. And we need Hello Sunshine right here. That's another new color. And then we have Peace of Mind, which is this one. Okay, so these are all previous colors that they've added to the set. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these out and we'll see what they look like.
So the Colors of Kindness line of coloring tools by Crayola have been given specially labeled names. So that's why we've got two names on these markers. One, for instance, is Cool Mint, and then it's also called Peace of Mind. And they said that these second labels they've given these colors are supposed to be warm words to inspire smiles and happy thoughts. I like that idea. Now, in addition to giving two names to the four new colors, they've also given colors of kindness names to all of the tools included in the marker and crayon set. So it'll be fun to see what they are. For instance, salmon is called go with the flow. Love that. <laughs> Peach is called warm and fuzzy. Granny Smith apple is called kind to the core. Turquoise blue is called breathe deep. Wisteria is called Best Buddies, and Orchid, Orchid is called Nurture Nature. Pretty cool. Let's take our first peek inside this pack of 24 crayons. I'm gonna have to find the four new colors and see what we've been given here. They look like a standard crayon, except that they have the words printed on it, Colors of Kindness. And it looks like we have the two names again. Here's Salmon, and then we have the fun Colors of Kindness name, Go With the Flow. So I'm going to find our four new colors and swatch them next to their corresponding marker. And then I'll swatch out all 24 over here and we'll see what they look like as a whole. All 10 colors that are represented in the markers are also in the 24 pack of crayons. But on top of that, we have 14 other color names that I thought you might enjoy hearing. First up, we have one called Rise Above. And then we have Heart to Heart, followed by Have a Scoop of Fun, and then Be Sweet to Each Other, A Slice of Nice, Life is Gouda, You're So Appealing, Keep moving forward. Seize the day. Lucky to know you. Ride the waves. Spread your wings. Always brave. And the last one spring into action. Better? Good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. Kisses? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Next up, I quickly want to swatch the 34 colors into the new coloring book so that I can see how they're going to perform on this type of paper. We have all the swatching done, so let's look at a few things. First, the four new colors. Let's take a peek at those. That's one, two, three, and four. So we have sort of a warm gray, um, almost a, a, I don't know if taupe's the right word, but it's a very interesting dynamic color right here. We've got a new blue called Sky's the Limit, a new yellow orange called Hello Sunshine, and then this sort of soft minty green called Peace of Mind. Over here, I put them side by side, marker first and then crayon to see if the colors match well. It's one thing that I think Crayola does well is that they match the colors well between their art mediums. So we've got um, 
marker here and crayon here and we want to see if they have the same overall color which I would think is pretty hard because we've got wax and we have a water-based marker so this one is peace of mind or cool mint this one is hello sunshine or the new name crayolo crayolo <laughs> and then the sky's the limit or powder blue that's the only one where I think the blue is a little bit off but so minimal that it doesn't really matter and then the new other fourth new color is oatmeal or a warm hug now also in the markers you get these colors here and then this is the whole set of crayons now the crayons I'm a little underwhelmed. They're coming across very translucent, not much pigment in each crayon. And this is a kid's product, so we can't expect the quality of, say, a Caran d'Ache Neocolor 1 type crayon. But I do want enough color that if a kid was coloring with these, they wouldn't get discouraged or frustrated with the tool that they're using. That's sort of what I'm looking for. And a few of them I feel, you know, like peace of mind, the new cool mint and the uh, warm hug and sky's the limit and then the warm and fuzzy that's not one of the new colors but all of those seem a little under pigmented to me but we'll see as we start coloring with them and that's why I wanted to come in here and swatch them on the coloring book to see how the colors look on this because this is not white paper this is a gray paper so we're working with a toned paper is what this is called um, and then it's a very it has a texture to it a toothy texture to it but it's very thin and the texture is more like a recycled paper type feeling and look so we really want to see how they pay off on here and which one are falling flat like peace of mind is barely showing on this type of paper same with a warm hug so it's a very different mindset when you're not working on white paper you have to change and shift your brain a little bit to look at the paper as one of your colors now also I wanted to point out if you look at the back side here, you can see everywhere where I colored the markers. Now, this is called bleed through when this happens, and it's very common in books like this. Um, they call it bleed through or ghosting when you can see a marker from the other page. So I need to be aware of whatever page I work on. It's probably the back side of it is not going to be usable. A way to get around this is to just um, scan or photo copy onto a piece of like copy paper that I think even working on copy paper would be better a nice step up from working on this type of paper but I have challenged myself to color in this coloring book at least a little bit so let's flip through here and see what I want to do now you may have noticed Rose panting in the background. So it's pretty warm in our art studio and then we're under the lights too. So here in a minute as I get starting, started coloring, I'll move her so that she can go somewhere cooler and get a drink of water. Let's see, what am I in the mood to color? There's a lot of really fun, just happy art. Ooh, those were cute. Oh, I like this sea and this turtle, and we have a lot of greens, so this turtle might go well with this sea lion. Oh, but a bird. A bird is so much fun. Let's do this bird right here. We might do both birds, the mama bird and, I mean, the mama bird and the baby bird, and this is the saying that goes with it. It says, spread your wings over here, but I think I'll just focus on coloring the bird. Let's check the other side. It says, breathe deep. Oh no, it's the mountain one. Very cute. Oh well, that's part of working in a coloring book like this. At Coloring Bliss at our print shop, we only um, print the pages single-sided so that you never have to make this decision. <laughs> Come and check out our print shop. You'll see the different types of paper we offer, and then you can... Um, pick all different kinds of art. It's so much fun at the print shop. 
Okay, so I'm going to color this bird. I'm not going to be too overly um, particular about this because we only have a certain number of colors and we'll just make do with what we have and see how it turns out. Now that I have the two birds done, I want to make sure that all four of the new colors are represented. So let's start with a warm hug and color the branch. I started by using the marker first to lay down some more texture into the wood and then came on top of it with the warm hug crayon. Next up we're going to make peace of mind and hello sunshine represented in this coloring page and we're going to do that down on this little bush. I went ahead and I put peace of mind up into the leaves of the tree so that now I can use sky's the limit to color the sky. Makes sense. I think I'm going to declare this page done. I'm, I'm feeling a little frustrated by the paper and the under pigmented tools, but I do think that this Colors of Kindness set is really fun. I would highly recommend picking it up. The four new colors, I would love you to comment below what you think of them. I'm not a huge Crayola specialist, so I didn't don't know if they needed a new blue or a new yellow orange or this oatmeal color or this minty green color. I, I don't know if they needed them or not. I think that all four of them are very unique and very different. Another thing I'm impressed with here is the wide variety of colors they gave us in the Colors of Kindness crayon box. It really does hit a lot of different areas. We got greens, blues, reds, yellows. They're all here. They're in slightly unique shades, so it's a little tricky to work with. And of course, we don't have a good black. We don't have a good white. We don't have a nice chocolatey brown. But the colors were designed to um, put a smile on your face, right? That's what the box said. And this set of colors was designed to go along with this coloring book right here. So um, would it do everything you want it to do in here? 
Maybe yes, maybe no. Um, on this page here, for instance, we have a sea lion, which I would usually reach for some warm grays, um, maybe a little bit of brown, um, maybe a little bit of silvery grays too, to create him. And we don't have anything like that in this set of crayons. But who's to say that maybe in this world here where you're supposed to ride the waves, maybe your sea lion is purple maybe it's red, right? That's one of the joys of coloring with kids is they don't get themselves locked into a certain color for a certain object or creature. They, they'll do whatever they feel like, whatever feels best. It's like my birds here. I don't know if there's any birds out there that look like this, but I really wanted to work with those three colors and see them transition between each other. So that's why I picked what I picked. And that's kind of the magic and the joy of creating Crayola in general is put a whole bunch of colors in a kid's hand, give them something to color and see what they do. Don't limit them. So if you decide to do this kind of challenge for yourself, color in a kid's coloring book to see what you can create. I challenge you to think like a kid. Let yourself go. Don't be boxed in by certain colors that have to be in certain places and in certain ways. Just color and enjoy the creative bliss that comes from coloring. That would be my recommendation. So my collecting of the Crayola crayons and the new colors will continue, I believe. I think this is a really fun thing to collect. It doesn't take up a lot of room and it has a lot of nostalgia. Every time I smell a box of crayons, it just brings back good memories. Um, comment below, did you color with Crayola crayons when you were little? I think that would be interesting to know, especially in different countries. Did they have different crayons that you were using when you were in school? Let me know. And as always, make sure you check out the links in the video description. I'm not sponsored and I need your help. I need you to subscribe, hit the like, do the notification bell, comment, all those types of things helps my channel keep going and keep growing. And it lets YouTube, of course, know that you thought that this was an interesting video. Thanks for joining me today and I hope all of you have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye bye everyone. I think I'm going to color the nest. It feels like it's kind of empty. <laughs>